Aha. It's locked. I don't think so. Hmm, interesting. Excellent. Excellent.
Hmm. Interesting. in this world have they done to you? And why, for goodness sake? <coughs> Who are you, I wonder? If only you could speak. <coughs> are you trying to tell me something? <coughs> So this is your mayor, and you're being held prisoner. But why? Um, look at your horse. Um, I am a horse. No, 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 that can't be right. I love this horse. Hmm, interesting. A quick check on old bear face in here, and then to a little bit more business. <laughs> Get you out of here, I promise. Hmm. 
Well, we might as well be getting off. And grab yourself a flagon at the inn. I've no more need of you tonight, Danny boy. I'll see you a bit later. I'm just gonna give them old nags of ours a nose bag. And then I'll probably join you for a job. <laughs> horses for courses, me old son. Horses for courses. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. That's what the creature was trying to tell me. Interesting. It's locked. It's locked.
here again, is it, miss? Hmm. Now that's interesting. <sighs> Listen, I think you may have dropped these. I believe these are your spectacles. What? You come round for some more, you say? Huh. Don't think I've got any more. What is it again? No. These are your glasses. I beg your pardon? I'll have none of that language in this shop. These, are they yours? Now look. I've told you once. No. These are your glasses. All my life. I've been looking everywhere for them. Ah, now that is much better. Thank you very much, miss. And is there anything else I can do for you? No. Thank you, madam. You've done quite enough. I need a key. It's locked. Whoa! What a stink! Hmm. Interesting. This seems to be some type of crematorium. Fwah. The smell of burning flesh is very strong here. Well, at least we know now why the snow isn't cold, don't we? Well, I think we should get back to Darkmere and wind this case up. And if I'm right, we don't have much time until the Taker strikes again. And my guess is the Registrar is next. Jailer, 
I would like you to summon all of the good citizens of Darkmere to a meeting inside the town hall immediately. What, all of them, sir? Yes, Jailer, my good man. Every last one of them. But, sir... You may tell them that Detective Briggs is about to unveil the Soul Taker of Darkmere, and any that do not attend will be assumed as guilty as the Taker itself, and therefore punished as befits. Yes, sir, Detective, sir. Well, wish me luck. Hmm. Did any of you good people think to question the snow? Now I've come far in this world, from the dungeons of grandeur to your very own darkness. But no matter how fantastic things have appeared, there has always been a reason and a rhyme for each of them. You see, there is no snow falling upon Darkmere. All that falls from this sky are the stark white remains of the burned and forgotten soulless ones. Let me explain, good folk of Darkmere. Who among you can remember when the so-called snow first began to fall? Does it not seem more than a coincidence that the snow began to fall as the first poor victims also began to fall at the hands of the Soul Taker? And have you never asked yourself where the Taker came from and why here in Darkmere? A Soul Taker, as you may or may not know, is a malevolent shadow, a shapeless, formless child, spawned before Dark Genesis. But a Soul Taker is not free to roam the realms of Limbo at will. No. A Soul Taker must be summoned, and a price must be paid for the summoning of such a creature. So, who would be prepared to perform such a rite? And more to the point, to what aims? Among the good people of Darkmere, there exists, shall we say, a secret society. Ah. But this is no charitable group of prominent citizens anonymously aiding the needy. No, this is an evil, greedy, corrupt society whose lust for wealth and power means that they will stop at nothing to get what they want. The society meet in the small hall at the end of Dagger Lane. It consists of four members, one of which they consider the High Priest, or perhaps I should say, Priestess. What do you think, Miss Blackley? Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, of course, Miss Blackley. You can't hear me, can you? And I'm sure you can barely see me also. Mr. Scourge, how nice to see you. Ah, there he is. The landlord of the very aptly named Inn of Sins. A fine, upstanding citizen, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Take a good look at these people, ladies and gentlemen. These people that you know and recognize, take a good look, for what I'm about to tell you will not sit well. Within this world that is neither here nor there, there is one thing that you all have in common. One thing left that you can at least treasure, your own soul. Now, the Keeper has given each of you your own soul bottle and it's up to you to keep it safe. Ah, but these souls are not just precious to you. There are those that collect and trade in the souls of others. With each stolen soul comes a little more power. Since my arrival in Darkmere, I have been given and found many clues. Some helpful, some not so helpful, but all Relevant. I took a charcoal rubbing from the door at the end of Dagger Lane, and I took it to the shoemaker, who confirmed that he'd made four pairs of boots, all with the very same symbol on the heel. The design for the boots was handed to the blind beggar, who in turn took it to the shoemaker. The blind beggar stated 
but the messenger had the smell of death about him. Also the smell of the fields. Hay, in fact. I do believe that Mr. Scourge here is the proud owner of an abattoir and a stable. Two odors that would certainly match that description. I also found strands of hay on and around some of the victims. Miss Blackley. Ah, yes. Of course, you're a little on the deaf side. Oh, and I see that you need to wear glasses. These I found at the scene of the crime. I recognized them because I'd seen Miss Blackley wearing them earlier. And then it struck me. Why would anyone so partially sighted go without her glasses? These, I believe, belong to you, Miss Blackley. You foolishly left them at the shoemaker's. You took them off, of course, being able to look for the design with your perfectly good eyes. Now, the pair that you're wearing now, I took from the shop of Onegas. Let's face it, anybody who genuinely relies on spectacles will know immediately their own pair from another. What? Never heard so much rubbish in all my life. Heard, did you say, Miss Blackley? And without the aid of a trumpet. Now, for those of you who cannot see, this is a stopper, a plug, a cork. You will find these in any inn or tavern. Plug in the necks of those fine jugs of ale. A good landlord will always have a number of these about his person. Now this one I found on the ground next to the dear old pie lady. A lady, I might add, who offered up two significant pearls of wisdom. The first was a question. Who do you know that likes to collect things, she asked. The second, a simple but telling saying. There are those who aspire towards an ultimate goal, seven from limbo for one living soul. A note had been passed to me that led me to investigate the Inn of Sins. Now you may be surprised to learn that beneath the inn there is a secret passage. In one direction, the passage leads directly to a spot beneath the very meeting place of the secret society. But in the other, it leads directly beneath the statue of the mayor. There were no footprints beside the pie lady, because the soul taker's accomplice, on this occasion, only had to stretch out from the opening to retrieve the soul. But as he did so, something slipped from his pocket. Yours, I believe. And finally we come to my old friend Onegas. Onegas and I have crossed paths before. He's a collector, you know. He just loves to collect things. He has a special room. Oh, not here in Darkmere, but down in the lower echelons. That is where he keeps his collection, safe and away from drying eyes. I've been inside that room, and I've seen them. Row upon row of souls labelled and filed and ready for the highest bidder. You know, he once questioned me on the whereabouts of the safety of my own soul, my living soul. Now, where's yours, I wonder? Yes, sir. The Taker is here. It sits among us. Ladies and gentlemen, that poor featureless creature that you see there has for some time been a captive shackled and chained, locked in the stables, far away from the public eye. As you can see, the flesh from his face has been carefully removed, perhaps by an expert slaughterman. Ladies and gentlemen, this poor faceless creature is none other than your very own mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your soul taker.
You know, there is always a price to pay when summoning and meddling with the great powers of darkness, as our four conspiring friends have discovered. People of Darkmere, the Soul Taker has been banished. Your mayor has been returned. Where are you going? Are you leaving us? Yes, I'm afraid I probably am. My father said that thanks to you, the snow has stopped. Who do you think you are throwing your weight around like this? Okay, I get the message. <laughs>